je peux commencer en français, ça me dérange pas. Les deux, hein. Ça peut être en espagnol. Bon, mais en français, alors, oui. moi votre, votre nom, votre prénom, votre fonction. Moi, c'est Pierre Lausier. Je suis un cocher depuis 20 ans maintenant. M. Lausier, vous pensez, est-ce que vous pensez que les, les, les chevaux, euh, les cochers, devraient être interdits dans le vieux Montréal? Évidemment, non. Euh, je fais ça depuis 20 ans avec le même cheval. Euh, J'ai jamais eu aucun problème avec mon cheval. Des accidents, comme il y en a eu un, évidemment, c'est un accident. Il euh, y en a en vélo, il y en a en, en skateboard, il y en a... Y... Il y a un, un monsieur qui s'est fait frapper par un autobus hier. Mais si vous euh, prenez le nombre d'accidents que nous, on a, comparativement à d'autres, il y en a beaucoup moins. Premièrement, on marche. On ne court pas. Donc, euh, bien sûr, les chevaux, en plus de ça, sont bien traités dans le Vieux-Montréal. Quoi qu'en disent les manifestants, les vétérinaires ont... ont, ont viennent régulièrement euh, voir nos chevaux, les vétérinaires de la ville, pas, pas nos vétérinaires. Nous, nos vétérinaires sont toujours là. Donc, ouais, euh... Bien <rire> sûr. Bien sûr, parce que c'est eux que les médias vont voir. Ils viennent jamais voir les cochers. Là, nous, il faut qu'on empiète sur leur manifestation pour se faire entendre. Hein? Pendant très longtemps, on a demandé des poteaux à la ville. Il n'y en a pas. Euh, ça aurait réglé quelques problèmes qu'on a. Hein, euh, de, 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 des abris pour le soleil. C'est des choses qu'on a demandé depuis longtemps. Donc, et ça, c'est toujours pas fait. Hein? Est-ce que les chevaux, est-ce est que vous avez, des, vous avez combien de chevaux? Que vous oh, moi, je suis pas propriétaire. Moi, je suis seulement un conducteur de calèche. Et euh, euh, dans, la, dans toute l'industrie, la, 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 il y en a une cinquantaine de chevaux. Cette année, si vous euh, voyez le rapport, il n'y a aucun cheval qui est en mauvaise santé cette année. Zéro. Il n'y en a même pas un qui est maigre. Le, les années passées, on avait eu des, chev des chevaux un peu maigres, mais c'est des chevaux qu'on avait achetés comme ça et qui gagnaient du poids en étant avec nous. C'est normal, on, on est avec eux à tous les jours. Donc, évidemment, on en prend soin. Une question en français, Oui. So just say your name and title for starters. Yeah. My name is Pierre Lozier. I've been a horse driver in the Old Montreal for 20 years now. And I've been with Knockout for 10 years. So I know him well. Okay. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on what's been going on lately? Uh, lies, exaggerations, and stuff like that. And of course, they always take the side. That, uh, sadly, medias, they don't really talk with us. They always talk with these guys and they will say today that horses are abused they have no proof of that my, my the, the owner of this horse had uh, actually a fine you saw that maybe in the newspapers who's the owner of this horse? Luc Desparois who by the way you know is, is, is the owner but you know he's is, is the owner but I'm the one taking care of the horse mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm the one feeding him, I'm the one brushing him, I'm the one, you know, cleaning him up, and stuff like that. When he's got little sores, I'm the one treating him. Of course, it's a physical job, it's a work. But then again, horses doing horse jumping, horses doing, going, uh, doing the, uh, the, the, the trails and stuff like that, riding horses. And nobody goes to see them. Why us? Because we're in the public eye. Because people can see us. People don't care about cows that are being slaughtered for McDonald's. People don't care about that. They won't go and, ma and protest in front of, of the slaughterhouses. Oops. They won't do that. But us, we're in the public eye. We have very healthy horses in the old Montreal. And I'm pretty sure you go in New York, same thing. And you go in Quebec City, same thing. If horses would be mistreated, we, it would show you would have you know, marks on him, he would have, he would be thin, he would be, you know, you could, you could see it. We had reports last year from the Ville Marie Borough about mm -hmm. a few weeks worth of inspections done yep. at Luc de Parois yeah, yeah, yeah. and there were quite a few instances of horses that have been taken out of circulation because they were too yes. sick. Yeah, uh, not, not, not th there, there were some horses that, yes, were sometimes taken out of circulation just because of, of, um, uh, comment ça? Uh, the 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 um, the 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 mark the that large eh? sores because of of uh, itching. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens even in the field. 
Okay. Right, but I'm Those also talking about like it's uh, the, the hoof has come loose and like it shouldn't be allowed to circulate anymore. Of course, of course, if the if the shoe uh, falls. By the way, the accident that happened uh, this week, the shoe fell. The the driver picked it up, uh, and I don't know why. Maybe the, he tripped on the reins and the horse took off. Uh, it's a stupid accident, but you know. It's, it's, uh, but as for the horses that were taken off, if you read the report very uh, clearly, they don't say that horses are mistreated. They just say that the horse need to gain weight or something like that. Uh, and besides that, uh, uh, it was sometimes scratches that were not even uh, related to the work of the horse. Like if a scratch is right here, it's not because the horse worked. It's because probably he fought with his friends in, in the paddock or something like that. It could be that too. And, and for that, uh, last year, to answer your question, the inspectors had like a zero percent tolerance because everything had to look perfect. This year, it is. They have nothing to say about us that is bad so far. Our horses are healthy. They are happy to. This is a great. Uh, this is a great horse, by the way. He's doing a bunch of weddings. He's doing TV shows. He's doing parades. You probably the the, the you probably saw him at the St. Patrick's Day parade. But does of course, that suggest more supervision was needed if that's what it took for them to have nothing to say about the way you treat them. Now? Well, more supervision. Uh, it is being done right now. If you look back ten years ago, it was still the far west in the old Montreal and now the city took a bit of their responsibility and of course we're glad they did that we are glad they did that because the industry changed a lot in the last five years as I was saying just last year we had maybe two horses that were too thin and as I was saying we bought them that way huh? so the now the horses that well we had to sell one because of uh, refuges Refuges. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can give you some names after after this if you want to. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it depends. It depends. You know very well how the stables treat the horses because you work at Lucky Luke, so you know very well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know very well how the horses are treated, and they're treated every year better and better. There have been accidents in September, at least five or six accidents, which oh, don't yeah. go in the media, and oh, you know yeah. that very well. Well, we have these, it. We these have people just have to go down to the stables and get a look at it. Exactly. It's a piece of. It looks like a Rube Goldberg project, eh? The stables is not pretty. No. I, I, I know that. And you know how they're treated. You know that they're on drugs, and you know how Luke treats his horses. So I don't know what you're what you're saying here. And you've been clocked. You're not supposed to go out for more than nine consecutive hours. We've clocked you out from noon until two the following morning. The driver changes, the horse remains the same. And that's why we have inspectors, so they can give them... I saw the inspector today. Oh yeah? Where? Yes. We didn't see any inspectors. Well, if you would have been on the horse then, you would have seen one. So we have no enforcement. The, the rules no are weak and there's just simply no... There are a lot of... It. There's at least three inspectors. There's uh, at least four or five vets hired by the city to see that our horses... There's that and there's... Yes, but... And we've seen them drunk in the morning, two in the morning. We've seen them drunk. Yeah, well, Drinking you know. beer, <laughs> yes. smoking. You're ag yes. you're agreeing? Yes. Well, yes. It's it's oh, it, there. Exactly. There are some bad drivers. So how some bad drivers? How yes, well, there are some well, bad drivers. Well, we are yeah. sixty of us. Sixty of us. Sixty so, too yes. many. Yes, there are, there are some very good drivers. There's some bad drivers. There's some good cops. There's some bad cops. There's some good taxi drivers. So if you're a good, good, so good driver, why are you defending the bad ones? Because I'm we're not here for the horses. The we're not drivers. here to defend drivers. I'm saying they're bad and they shouldn't so be So you're admitting that you have bad drivers in the city, of, of you know? Of course. Yeah. Anyway, of course. That's, that's, it's everything else. It's the hard, the, the pavement. The, 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 a lot of them are... Show, show me your scientific facts. Well, uh, the I report. mean, any animal that uh, shows that the facts. The works all day long on hard and pavement. And only 25 horses out of the 56 horses are in most the of them have. Most of them are sick. No, it's not, not as you're saying. Well, no, I mean, it's public. Anybody can go read exactly. it. Leg exactly. problems, public. respiratory problems. I mean, they have problems. You no. can't work in this environment and not have problems for a horse. Oh, yeah. So you cannot live in the city Cities are not without made for horses, and we know saying. that. Well, at least it's my choice, eh? Exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
and anyway. your dogs and your cats. Yeah, my cat doesn't. Work well, they're not. Stuff. They're not pulling. <laughs> they're not pulling uh, carts. Exactly. And, and this is the. If you if you saw me last year, I was pulling this carriage by myself. How many hours? Huh? I'm a human being, oh. so I weigh 180 pounds. My horse weighs one more zero than that. My horse is a horse. Yes, they are. Yes, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, just like. Allowed by the law, there are usually more people than are allowed by the law. No. And you actually allow people. Scientific facts. Scientific facts. My horse weighs 1,800 pounds. Okay, he can easily pull three times his weight on wheels. You know why I can say that? Because I can do it too. I can pull three times my weight on wheels all day long. If you want to test that, no I will person, do it. No person who loves my their horse, horse would have them working my, my for hours on hours every day. Exactly. Very strict. No Horses have horse nine hours that. to work. Nine hours. On a very good day, horses are doing 10 rides a day. Ten, anyway, ten all the ra- material, you're going to be gone with gentrification, we'll get rid of the stables and that'll be the one way we can get rid of the horses. Ten rides times, you know, a half hour, that's five hours on nine hours that the horse is really working. Right now, he's not working. How about the horses that are lined up he's under the sun? How about those horses when they're lined the up under the, the sun? the countryside that are lying under the they're sun? They're not lying under the sun. They, have the, they can graze. They can go under the shade. We have horses here in the summer lined under the sun. Yeah, okay, where are the inspectors? Where are they? That's actually one of the things that we are asking for the city. We want shade for our horses. Of course. And the mayor said he would, he would help us by building a new stable. Oh, that was my point. That was... Uh, I was getting you forget it. It's not going to happen. You're We're supposed to have a new. Uh, yeah. <laughs> pas électrique, ça ôte tout le charme. Ça ôte tout le charme? Ben oui. À New, York, tu l'as essayé? à New York, là, ils ont essayé de le faire oh, et ça n'a pas marché. Not here. The wrong crowd, not here. Believe me. You're just unlucky not to be in New York yeah, because because in New York people are paid to do what you're doing right now. Oh, check your facts. Exactly, you're doing it for free. You're. You're. Of course, horses can speak. They are animals. When you work any type of work with a horse, you are forcing the horse. Riding horses, police horses. When you walk your dog, you're forcing your dog to walk. Even if the dog doesn't want to walk. So answer this question. You are against Lucky Luke, but you're working for Lucky Luke. Yeah, I have to. And how many accidents does he have? The ones that we see, that people take yeah. pictures. Yeah. These are not account- the others are yeah. not accounted for because somebody's not there taking yeah. pictures. But no, of they, course. There's just one accident As after said, another. There know? were three no, spooks in September. Only one was in the news. How three many spooks. horses died in the Oma Trial in the last 40 years? In the last 40 how years? Many? There well, were they, at least 12 how horses. How many? Just tell me At least 12 horses in the last 40 years. At least 12. Where? Do you know who they are? Where? You saw Budweiser. You saw Moe. Yeah. Yeah. So, come on, tell me the names. Come, tell me the names. You know them. Yeah, but the. Yeah, I saw some horses die. Of course, some. Well, some die of sickness. I, the one, one died of cancer. But no, no horses died in, in the street. Uh, the one that was hit by the, the, the truck. Oh, yeah, Tara, you're saying? Throw, yeah, Tara. Tara is still working, them? I think. No, I'm not talking about that. No, no, there's only 25 and, horses. But she's not dead. There's not 25 horses, there's more than that. Well, that's what one of the guys said on the radio the other night. Well, at the stables, at the stables. But there's more than that working. And and there's not only Lucky Luke. Huh? Lucky Luke is. Yeah, he's the main one. And as, as I said, yeah, 
but as I said, uh, I'm not seeing the, 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 the look most of the time. I'm, I'm just doing my thing with my carriage, with the horse that I work. Of course. Well, I support him. I have to. Why? Because I cannot work elsewhere. Uh, so can you speak in English? Uh, uh, my English is very good. What's the question? She said, is, is, is asking about the inspections. Well, that's nonsense, the inspections. The inspections Absolutely do not occur at the stables. Okay. Well, they well, occur they at, the, at the hack line. There are inspectors at the hack line. And they only inspect horses that they find, and the horses have a harness when they're inspected. So they are never seen without a harness. They are students. These are students that don't know anything about horses. Yeah. So we really don't have a, a complete report of the horses.